Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. Welcome back to the Breath of the Wild, or Breath of the Wild as some heathens call it. Welcome back. This is episode 110, uh, and I'm super excited to be here today. Listen, uh, I've been thinking between episodes, and there's this big question on my mind, right? Uh, we've recently unlocked and started the Champion's Ballad DLC of this game. And so the question on my mind is, should I do it? Should I not? I'm sitting here debating. I'm really interested in it. And if I'm really interested in it, I think I'm going to try tackling it. Uh, so here's what you can expect over the next couple of episodes. Uh, I'm going to at least try to track down these four glowing orbs that split from the uh, one-hit obliterator after I finished the last section of this quest. Um, yeah. After that, I, I can't promise you that we're going to complete the Champion's Ballad DLC quest right now. I don't know how long it is. I don't know anything about it. That's the nature of a blind playthrough. Uh, but I can tell you that's probably at least two episodes worth of stuff. I'm going to try and, for the next two episodes at least, tackle stuff. Um, yeah. I say that in case you're not particularly interested in the Champion's Ballad. I'm sure there are people out there who aren't. Uh, if you are excited or are interested, then good news. So, uh, yeah, that's my little disclaimer at the start of this video. So how do we do this and what do we do next? I will say, first things first, I want to get this tower because we don't have the Gerudo area tower and I don't really want to, you know what? Let me eat my words real quick. Let me eat my words. Maybe we'll get the tower. I'm going to go fast travel to Naboris and see uh, how close it puts us to this glowing orb. And, you know, maybe we'll grab the tower. Maybe we won't. I hope you're having a great day. I'm super excited to be here. I, If you couldn't tell from the grin on my face and the energy with which I'm speaking about this champion's ballad... I am uh, very excited about what's been happening recently. So, more so than my base level of excitement about this game, which is always high. Uh, okay, so there's Naboris. I jumped off the edge. Uh, there's Naboris. We, uh. Hey, look, there's the tower. <laughs> it's really close. Uh, yeah. Hi, buddy. I will tell you guys that I got some... Um, I'm finally caught up on YouTube comments uh, recently. So, uh, a few things. I could have swore... I could have sworn... I had the Lizolfos mask on. I definitely did not have <laughs> the Lizolfos mask. And that makes so much more sense about why they were attacking me. God damn it. I also learned that you're probably just supposed to shoot at Naboris from the back of the seal. Hindsight is 2020 on that one. <laughs> you know, now that you tell me that, that's super clear. Yeah, that makes sense. Totally. Hmm. Wish I would have come up with that the first time. Uh, okay. So because I am the way that I am, what if we just... Uh... What if we just ignored this little... The tower is going to be there. We can go get it any time. It's super close. Let's go get this, uh, this glowing orb instead. I think that's what it's called. The adventure log, I'm pretty sure, says... After conquering the last shrine, the one-hit obliterator split into four glowing orbs and scattered to different parts of Hyrule. There seems to be more to this trial. Yeah, so glowing orb. Um, This is also my first time seeing this part of the map. From this angle, at least. We've got a big old valley with lots of uh, structures on it. Got what looks like a Bacoblin camp. Uh... Some sort of structure there. And 
And then I think we're going sort of this direction. Oh, hello. That is a Korok. Okay. All right. How do I get a rock over there? Do I, am I going to need to grab? I can't pick a rock up. How's this looking? Seems relatively complete to me. But there's these ones right here. Wait, I'm confused. Are some of them different lengths? One, two, three, four, five. Six. I don't. That's probably not the right solution, right? I don't really see any that are. Maybe. I don't see any that are like missing a spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it is the length. What the hell? Okay. So it kind of looks like this one is shorter. One, two, three, four, five here. And here. Two, three, four, five here. Shit. Oh my God, that's it. Wow. That's a tough one. You're a tough little sucker, buddy. I'll be honest. You had me a little confused. Yeah, ha ha. <clears throat> you had me a little confuzzled on that one. Uh, hello there. <laughs> also, hello there. What is that? What is all of this? So hello there. There's so much to do, so much to see over in this area. All right, let's just go straight for it. My goal is to go towards the champion. Oh, shit. To go towards the champion's ballad thing and to mostly ignore the rest of what's around here, if I can. I think this one will be the tough one to ignore stuff because this is in an area I've never been. Uh, so I'm just going to do my best to ignore it in the short term so that in the long term, when we come back here and explore of our own volition and on different timing, uh, we can pass. We can... Uh, Take our sweet time. Guess what? I'm not going to forget it this time. Nice. Shout out to Rivali. Rivali, the home, the homeboy. Pass, how do you get here faster than I do? Hello? How do you do this? Ooh, got some good stuff up here. Okay. I applaud your courage in coming here. The locations that will be revealed to you are of trials that will enhance the power sleeping within. Do not let your guard down. Okay. Don't let your guard down. Oh. Okay. That's new. Mm -hmm. What was that flash of light? Perhaps it was my imagination playing tricks on me. Oh. Hmm? 
How strange to see someone else at this ample altitude. I wonder what brought him here. Oh, how embarrassing. I'm afraid traveling on my own encourages me to talk to myself on occasion. Ooh. This monument, I must admit, it has taken me by surprise. My teacher's unfinished song mentions such monuments. And now uh, one has appeared before my eyes. Unfinished song. Oh. Yes, the song is mostly complete, however. My teacher left this world without finishing the key verses. I'm going to write down a question. I don't honestly usually have a lot of lore questions. This game is mostly explaining the lore really well. So much of this game is not... This, this may sound a little like counterintuitive, but to me, as a person who especially has recently been playing games like Hollow Knight, Bloodborne, where the lore is like always present but sort of hard to parse, um, this game is not particularly lore forward i don't say that as a criticism at all what i mean by that is in my opinion um the lore is there but it does not uh it is not like actively slapping you in the face most of the time when you are running around the the you know in the in your average hour of gameplay of this game most of what you're doing is like solving puzzles uh manipulating the like physics of the game you know, uh, whereas in some of those other games, you're the minute you do anything, they're there hitting you with like, here's how this fits into a large mystery of the world lore. I don't, the, this game is like answering a lot of my questions pretty well. Pretty simple setup. hundred years ago, this happened. There's different places around the map. You can, you can find the lore. You find them. Uh, the question on my mind right now is who is this teacher? Who is Cass's teacher? Um, and that's a rhetorical question, obviously. I'm writing it in my notebook so that I can keep track of it long term and, uh, and maybe keep an eye on, like, the details left behind by Cass about their teacher. Okay. I wish to weave the missing pieces together and finish the song. Mm. That's why I'm roaming the areas mentioned in the lyrics. As such, a rush of happiness I feel. Ah, such a rush of happiness I feel at being able to sing while the divine beast watches over us. The song my teacher left behind. There's a verse about the trials that champion your bosa. Allow me to sing it now. Okay. Lightning king of the desert. Naboris' champion, the stalwart. The hero's power shall grow. Seek trials. Monuments show. One, fight the brute of the sand. Two, chase rings upon the land. Three, throw the orb underground. Champion, trials abound. Okay. To me, this says from this place, we have three types of puzzles in this area. Did the verse move you? It was written in honor of the champion challenging the trial. Uh. As though the champions are speaking to me through the song, I hear their silent plea for its completion. I'm now starting to understand the champion's ballad part of the title of this DLC. That's why I must learn more about the champions of Hyrule's past. Luckily, the Gerudo chief Riju and her guard, Buliara, shared some precious tales of their champion with me. I'm grateful I was able to visit Gerudo Town, even though I had to leave my comfort zone a bit. I can imagine that. Cass? Cass in a, uh... In a, uh, Vo outfit? Um... Is it Vo or Vi? I always get it confused. One second. Is it, uh... In a Vi outfit, sorry. Okay. Uh, We'll go take a look at that monument here in a second. The obliterator led you to a location where a stone monument with a map of trials appeared. Cass's song seems related. The Brute of the Sand, which could be a... Uh... 
Why can't I think of the word right now? A talus. Two, chase rings upon the land. That one I don't really know. Chase rings upon the land. And three, throw the orb underground. I think I'm going to need this freaking map. What do you guys think? Okay, so it doesn't appear... Hold up. It does not appear on my map, so they make part of finding it the... Finding it is part of the puzzle. That looks kind of like a labyrinth. That little part right there. Otherwise, middle of the desert? This is snow-capped plateaus. It's a valley. Snow Captain Maces. This is Big Desert, but that is Gerudo Town. And I think that is the shrine. I don't know, but I feel like I should take photos of these so that I have them, right? That's the first thing that comes to mind is take photos of these for sure. so that we have them for the future. I like this. It's a different kind of memory hunt. That one is confusing. All right. So we're going back to the tower. <laughs> we're going back to the tower immediately. Would you like to hear a verse about the champion challenging the trial? Oh. Let's do it. Okay, it's the same one. But we'll, we'll enjoy Cass's song real quick. Boris is champion the stalwart. The hero's power should grow. help you visualize the champion's bravery. It did. Alright, let's go get this tower that I was about to avoid. <laughs> I was about to avoid until I realized, wait, it's the most important tool for solving this, I think. I could maybe try and find those without it, but... Oh, I doubt it. Especially in this area. Maybe the other areas I could do it that I've fully kind of explored on my own time, but... All right. Uh, let's see what this tower has to offer. The other thing on my mind is it looks like we had a Korok right up there. So... Let me go try that. bunch of metal. Are we stacking it? Are we using lightning in some way? This place is like a quarry. It's got these uh, straight lines and sharp edges like uh, there was mining done here. Okay, so this one should go right here. Yeah, ha, -ha. Yeah. Hell yeah, buddy. All right, so what's going on here? The big wind right now. Oh, hello. Uh, let me switch out my shield real quick. I <laughs> let me drop my shield real quick. Uh, that's something we decided we needed for. No, we need ice key swings for uh, a clothing upgrade. Okay. 
So I'm a little bit confused here. What's the challenge? I feel like most of the time they give you a challenge to actually get up on it. Like it's choked with thorns. Is the water here going to electrocute me? Is that what I'm doing? I'm jumping. The wind is strong. The wind? Oh, this is all the... I thought it was water. Oh, shit. I thought it was water. My bad, my bad. I thought it was water. Let's take you out real quick. You know what? Just gonna chuck you over into the into the goop. See you later, buddy. That'll kill you, right? Yes, the goop did work. Alright, cool. Fantastic. Okay, I think from this one I could probably make the jump. But it depends on this wind. Uh, if I'm going into the wind, there's no way I can make that jump. Normally I could. You know what? I'm not any normal... Uh, I'm not any normal, normal person anymore. Wasteland Tower. Okay. I've got, oh shit. I've got Revali Scale to help me. All right. Good stuff. Give me the blue juice. Give it to me. I want to see it. Pick a tower activated. All right. Finally. It only took us 12 episodes or 15 episodes or something. Maybe more. I don't know. Since we've been hanging out in this area. Maybe less. We finally have a map. Which is so, obviously so different than what we did for every other area so far. I always booked it directly for the tower. But. Oh, it's a big one, too. It's a big one. Okay. I got to see it. I got to see it. What do we got here? Gerudo Canyon. Cool. So here, Wasteland Tower is what they call it. Um, Naboris is here. Korok there we found. The Stalry Plateau, Yarna Valley, East Gerudo Mesa. Hey, I found a freaking labyrinth. Champion's Gate. Oh, consider me intrigued. Deval Peak, Mount Grenage, the East Barrens, Southern Oasis, Halu Wasteland. Here's the part we get to do, which is really fun. Oh my God, what the fuck is this? Here's what we get to do that's really fun. The Hero's Path. Okay, so there's still some stuff up here we haven't done. Obviously, all of this, all of this. There's more out. Uh, this looks like it's right behind my camera, but right above my head, actually, right here. Looks like there might be some sort of Leviathan bone. Um, obviously, there's also this whole pathway in where I think uh, a lot of people came to this place for the first time. so funny i could have just hopped off of mount hylia or or right here right here just downhill and come this way hmm mount Nab uh, naburu interesting okay uh so here's my thought in this area there are three uh, one of them is like here. Let's go take a look at our photo. 
Um, that's this one. It's actually down a little bit. Let's put a marker on it if we can. I think it's basically like here. Um, I'll re... I'll check the... Uh... Actually, looks like it might be right here. Sweet. Uh, so... What about this one? This one's the one that's confusing to me. I don't think... I think this is basically right by where we're at. I don't think it's got, it's like up is north in this way. Oh, but it's going to be so tough to tell. So there's a, I think it's this. I think this little protrusion and this right here, Yarna Valley. I think the protrusion is actually the bottom part, maybe? Oh, maybe not, though. There's water right there. Okay, that one's tough. We're going to have to figure that one, that one out at some point. That one makes my head hurt to look at. Is there another part on the map where that one could be? It's got water visible, which is the which is the kit which is the kicker because Is it just here? Throw it. Hold up. Did it say throw a rock down a hole? I know a big hole. Is that what that is? I like how I keep tilting my head to look at it. I think that is it. Holy shit. Okay, never mind. So I'm pretty sure I toss a orb or a rock down that big hole. <laughs> and then this one is got to be the upper right hand part is the ruin that we came through. The other part is Gerudo Town. So it is, uh, like right here. Sweet. Oh, we figured it out. I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty confident about all of those. All right. While we're here, I'm not trying to, uh, absolutely, uh, Sprint, oh shit, sprint straight there in a way that, oh my god. I did not think of that at all. Okay. I'm not trying to sprint straight there in a way that, uh, means we ignore all of this stuff. Palm fruits. Do some looting here. We also have a chest to potentially get out of there. Stuff to uh, crack these open. Boom. Roasted hydromelon. Some rupees and a roasted volt fruit. Okay. Been charred, it says. I want to try and get that chest. And then, what else is there? Those ones can be pulled out. The problem is I can't actually reach them, which is really interesting. I think it's the same way with that chest over there. So I think we're going to have to use these on top of other things. To, uh, to figure out where we're going. was not on top of it. I'm thinking like chuck that on top of. No, you turd. Hmm. 
That might actually work out all right. I need a flat surface to stand on. Nailed it. Okay. Got to be delicately land this sucker. Please be close enough. Please be close enough. Let's go. All right. What do we have? Is it a sword that I can't fit? No, it's a bomber. <laughs> Good. There's another one over there. I don't have any more Revali scales. Shit. I'm so stuck. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'm so stuck. Oh, no. I don't have any more Revali's. It's fine, because I can fast travel. <laughs> I felt so clever getting myself there, and then I felt so dumb once I was stuck. But I'm not stuck forever. Certain plants that only bloom during rainstorms. I wonder if we know what that is. And here's my thought. I want to try from here. There's another chest right there. Can I get it from there? Probably not. So, just to be safe. Go ahead and grab this. Oh, yeah. That's a thing of beauty. A thing of beauty, I say. Okay, that's fine. Didn't even have me nervous for a second. What do we got? Sapphire. Okay. Of course, we could pull out the... Uh, The metal boxes that are smaller. And there might be more here. But for now, let's go back up to the tower and set off for one of these uh, locations. Let's go to the one by the, uh, to the south first. I'm definitely coming back to get the labyrinth. This is, this is exciting to me. It's kind of changing the way I play the game right now. I would... I. In so many of the other areas, I didn't explore the game this way. Where you, uh... Um... Just sort of seek out something specific. Yeah, we're going for red there. And then... Sort of, uh... How do I phrase this? And sort of, uh, make your way there without getting distracted. I almost said beeline it, but I'm like, no, that's probably not right. It's not beelining, it's just not being distracted by every single fucking thing you see, Ryan. <clears throat> okay, this is really cool. Those are the seven heroines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's what they are. Oh. Also, that labyrinth looks very cool. I love this freaking game. God bless it. Okay, we're going to come back to so much of this. We're going to come back to so much of it. Champion's Gate, I believe, should also be this thing right here. So I'm curious about what that is as we fly over, too. What is the Champion's Gate? I'm running out of stamina. Kind of just looks like a sketchy area, sketchy valley, where there's a lot of big balls that might come down and try and kill you. Okay. Kind of looks like there's a bunch of stuff that would roll downhill and giving me flashbacks to that quest I did with the uh, 
two brothers outside of Goran City and the ball's rolling down the hill and the hoi hoi ve. The fuck is that? Oh, hello. Oh my god! <gasps> Moldu King? Molduga? What the fuck? Oh my god, I want so badly to go do that right now, but I also really, really badly want to do the... Whatever's over here. Okay, ho hold up. I love this game. I love this game. <laughs> Fight the Brood of the Sand? Same thing. Great news. Come here. Come here, you little weirdo. What are you? Will you jump for me again? Please jump. I want to get the picture of the century. Oh, there's music. Oh! <laughs> what? Is that his butt? No, that's its head? Is that its chin? What is the front and back of this thing? I don't know. I did. Moldu King. This is not Moldu. Die, die. It is my pleasure. Buddy, I got no idea. I have no idea. Run. <laughs> Give me on top of something. Does that do anything? No? Get me on top of something. Please. This has to be related to a Molduga, right? I feel like it has to be. What the fuck? But this is DLC, so I can't wait to see what a Molduga is, too. Uh, I mean, I think we gotta try and eat one of these. What the? What do we okay? Bali's Gale is now ready. Sure, I should probably turn on Daruk's protection as well. Uh, what do we do against this thing? It's in the ground. What do I know for knocking things out of the ground? I don't know. Uh, the shocking thing. I could do. I could do the Y. I could do this. Uh, I'm not gonna use it, but I could use the Y thing. Maybe. I have bomb arrows. I have this attack. Uh, not that attack. You know, the one I do all the time. That one. Let's get to some other high ground that's maybe a little bit closer. The music is really good. I could get a seal. No, don't spot me. Don't spot me. Don't spot me. You're like a fucking Lionel except... Oh, I'm out of stamina. It's like a Lionel except scarier. Jump, 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 jump. No damage. Okay. Or did I just take it? Oh, I took damage because it's hot. Okay, okay. Um, this is so wild to me. Uh, that's gonna be so bad for my defense levels. Oh, 
What in the hell do I do here? Do I just attack it when it jumps? That doesn't seem particularly... Should I make noise? Are we talking Shy Halud? Do one of those? That did seem to draw it. Did it just jump? I think it might have just jumped. Jump. I could do damage while it's in the air. There's also something over there. What if we made our way towards that smoke and see what it is before we do anything else? This is definitely some shy halud kind of... Interesting. Okay. Think I can make it? It's still hot? Oh, shit. No matter what you wear in the heat of day right now. Uh, right? No matter what I wear. No. This outfit will do it. Okay, gotcha. Alright, while it's over there, let's go over here. What in the hell? I'm so shocked. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm full of fear. Let's try it, let's try it, let's try it, let's try it. Oh, no, I tried to do the Y thing! Oh my god, I have no health. Climb, climb. I tried to do the Y thing, but I apparently didn't do it right. Is there some intel over here? Hello, do you have, there is somebody. Do you have any freaking idea what's happening, Tracy? It's Tracy? Hum? What is this? Could it be? Are you that pretty gal I saw in Gerudo Town? Tracy, now is not the time. I'm right, aren't I? Don't try to hide it. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you wear, these eyes see all. Tracy wasn't born yesterday after all. Oh, Ooh, I see, I see. It's because only women can enter Gerudo Town. Clever boy. That's quite the scoop, but I'm sure you had your reasons. I'll keep that gossip to myself. That's called integrity. Okay. You probably guessed as much, but I'm tracking down some juicy gossip. Since you're here, I'll do you a favor. Let you in on a rumor I haven't even published yet. Just when you thought you could relax. When the divine beast had settled and the lightning had stopped. <gasps> Boom. A mysterious Molduga shows up. How's that for a scoop? Apparently, the Gerudo soldiers tried fighting it, but normal swords didn't even make a dent. Uh... Wonder what weapon would work against something like that. Tell me! Do you know? Uh... Swords uh... don't work. Okay. Tracy, what did? You're, you're missing the key ingredient here. What happened? What worked? Sometimes you just got to make Link absolutely house some... Uh... Some apples just for the fun of watching him eat 16 things at once. Oh, I don't even know. No swords? Okay. Do I, does that mean I talk to the soldiers? I could. I could also experiment a little myself. Let's go ahead and hit a save. So let's go ahead and hit a save. Yup. Okay, you come out of the ground. Uh, that seems like the time to do stuff. Does that draw your attention? Maybe. I thought I was doing the, the, the electricity thing. Didn't work. Okay. It is Y, right? There it is. Okay. 
Come closer now. I'm running out of stamina. Shit. Okay, if you hold it to the end, it does it no matter what. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Hello? I don't, I don't, okay. What if we hold up here? Come closer. I really don't know how to do this. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, I'm, I'm trying. There's a sparkle that's happening in the ground. What is the sparkle that's happening in the ground? I want to try this. They keep not freaking coming close enough. Okay. Seems like a great time to injure it. That's it? Oh my god, it's fucking spears. Oh my god, it's a white whale. It's freaking Moby Dick. Oh my god. That's cool. No, I'm dead! We can do this. We can do this. We've done no damage. We cannot do this at all. Oh, you're out of the ground, though. Ha ha! Okay. We're going to absolutely eat something before we do anything else. This is going well. I think this is doable. Master Sword's running low on energy. It also appears that spears might do better damage. Or I can't I can't tell if I should assume that or if Okay, so that's obviously the thing we do that like changes their their state, right? We do that, we get the stun state. Okay, that's really... I thought maybe the spear was doing something special. I don't know that it is. We're about to use a couple different weapons. I'll tell you that much, though. This part I honestly feel fine about, though. I wonder if there's a part of it that you can hurt worse than the other parts, you know? Like, should we be aiming for the head here? We'll probably be aiming for it. There's all those spears in the one part of it. Maybe that's what they're there for. Where's the where's the pillar? Okay. There's all those spears in the one part. I can't actually see anything. It's on the other side of this. I can't see shit. Okay, alright. Well, we just run. Okay, we're gonna switch weapons again. Uh, I think we probably let's do a claymore. We have so many of them. Wait, what are you going over there for? Wait, what are you doing? Oh, interesting. Was I not low enough? there do i hit the shiny part when you're in the ground i can't tell i think sometimes when it's in the sand there is a shiny part this is so fucking cool i didn't even think about bombs Close enough. Okay. We have to get a, we have to let it get a little bit closer. That did it. Hell yes. Nope. Hit it, please. Oh, that did it so well. The electricity did so much damage, I think. My row play more broke.
almost hurt myself. No, I didn't. Hit it right in the... Oh, there I did. Okay, I need to heal a little bit. Yay! I'm dead! No! I have fairies. Okay, it's fine. Oh, we were doing so well. I got so nervous. Ooh, okay. We're gonna be fine. I need a weapon! Okay, we can do this. This is the state we really like. This is still not the most effective way of doing damage. But it's a really safe way of doing damage. Did that work? I did. Let's go! So it's your boss's uh it's your boss's uh weapon that does it. That did so much damage. Oh my god. What a cool thing that was! Holy cow! Oh man. That was so neat. The Moldu King has been removed from the throne. What a cool Moby Dick moment. That was awesome. From I love stuff like that. From the outset thinking... We are screwed. We have no real hope. We don't have a good idea. We can't really do anything. There's a... Uh, nothing's working. So then all of a sudden, figuring something out, figuring a new thing out. Oh. Golden bow. My inventory is full. We'll get rid of this Traveler's Bow, which is bad. Savage's Lionel Bow is about to break. Probably get rid of that one, too. Okay. Oh, man. Good stuff. And we get a new shrine on top of it all. I... Wow. That was awesome. What a cool moment. So there's going to be a shrine at every single one of these uh, places, it seems like. That means it's going to be a long... If there's four of these different places where the orbs went, and each one of them has three... At three shrines just to complete them and then maybe something at the end too that would be my guess uh this could take us a while this could take us a while i don't know that it's going to be a two episode thing i think it might be a couple more some of them are probably a little bit easier though than the one that we just had yeah interesting Interesting. And now we get another crazy shrine. I had to kill a Moldu King and then still do this. What? Okay. Big or small? So we have... Uh, passing electricity through... Sure. All they have to do is be close enough. Once they are, then what happens? Okay. We need something there. Continue that. 
doesn't do anything. I think we need. To, I think that powers something up when I do that. Can I move this closer? How close can I move it without it coming back? It wants to come back no matter what. Okay. Oh, we have more tools at our disposal. Excellent. Okay, so that starts that. We need to continue that part, which would be a block on top of a block, potentially, or just a big block. Okay, interesting. That one, I think we're going to want to wrap it around. To continue. Nope. Does that still work? Yes, it does, because the, the chain itself is what conducts the electricity. Okay. Is there anything down here that I'm missing? No, we should still have one of these, though. Okay, if I just set this here... Uh, there's... That's not what the uh, issue is, right? Okay. Oh, this is a big one. If I remove that, does everything else come off? It does. Can I put the small one over here? It didn't look like this other one was large enough to actually make the jump. It'll do that, but it won't do the whole thing. Okay. Hmm. There's something incomplete there that I haven't figured out. If I could get this chest out, I could potentially use it too. This is the end of the shrine. This is what? Is Gyra? Oh, interesting. Gyra? Uh, okay. That freezes them in place. Oh, this is an interesting one. Okay. This could be rough. I think we're going to try going above it. And then tilting down. The delay on the tilt is killing me here. That's perfect. We're not touching the right one again. Okay, that's definitely not perfect. That's relatively close. The thing is, I'm going to need electricity to all this shit. Fuck. Okay. We're going to leave it because I need electricity to, in order to do it in the first place. So, what am I not understanding here? The big one has to be all the way on, on this one, it seems like. To make this one work. Get this over here. Put the big one back on. up against the wall. Beautiful. So, in what way? I'm missing something here? It's definitely not long enough. It's a chain, so it's not like I can break it. I think we had a pretty good solution there. Being hung over the thing. Stuff can be stasis. Mmm. 
can this be Cryonist? Cry Cryonist? No. Can this be Cryonist? Cryonist? I'm debating how I said that. Um, in a way that makes any sense? Might be the place to set the thing. You could try it. It's not gonna hurt, right? Where'd my metal ball go? Where'd my metal... Did it disappear? Oh, it's down here. I just don't think that's close enough. What am I missing? That's not even metal, so it's not that. Is there a way to skip some of the things so that you don't have to do all of them? Power here from the start. Is there a way to do this one without the metal wire? Maybe? Do we cryon is here? And set it on top? Maybe? Doesn't really look like it's gonna work. Man, I am feeling uh, a little confused. I can do my weapons. This is not probably how this is meant to be solved, but I can Shit. drop stuff. I think I need to face this way because I believe it drops behind me. I really don't I, don't, I don't think this is the solution, but I also don't want to keep banging my head against the wall. That's not working either. Don't mind me just staring deeply into Link's soul right here. Link, what do we do? All right, let's get the let's get the uh, electricity flowing again, so that at least if I play around with this and it doesn't and it does work, I'll know about it. You know what? Maybe this is the one we use the weapon on. And that saves the metal bar, the metal, the metal thing, which will definitely help us out in the next one. Is this going to ele ah, electrocute me? I've ah, shit, fucking knew it. Okay. God damn it. Uh, give me something with decent durability. This is going to break immediately. It does work. It ain't pretty. I mean, I would love to know in the comments down below how you solve that part of the, this part of the puzzle. How do, you, how, do, how do you solve it? Not how does one solve it? How do you solve it? Do you use a weapon? I think I had to. And I think this will work. Uh, if I can just uh, balance things correctly. Um, but... And it's not that ugly. It's just one weapon in the water over there. But, uh... Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. There we, there we go. Don't stop. Thank you. I guess that does technically solve the whole thing. So you could, you could end it there and be good. 
Um... Okay. It looks like... Oh, this is so weird. It's so bad to get it close because then if you don't get it exactly on, you have to wait. Ah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. That'll work. I think if we just move this one, we can do it. And this one moves really slow, so it's easier to fix. Okay. Woo! Good stuff. Also, fuck that, uh, that sword. Whatever it is I dropped, it's staying there. It is staying there. It's like a durability up shield. Less good shield, but I love durability. Cool. I know some people are saying the, uh, the second shrine we did inside of the Champion's Ballad is the tough one. But I found this one to be pretty tough. Uh, either way, that's going to have to do it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, a like and a positive com comment. Excuse me. Help us out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. I'll continue tomorrow in the Champion's Ballad, and then we'll kind of reevaluate from there and see what we want to do and go from there. Naboris's emblem is not a spirit orb. Lightning Shroud's completion by one who wishes to control a divine beast. Collecting three leads to a new challenge. So, complete three emblems, collect three emblems to open the path to a new challenge. Who remain? Excellent. Thanks so much. I will see you tomorrow. Until then, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.